Welcome to the SCC Art Show. I'm Juliana Atkins Young, and I'm here with Peter Jereza and Michael Colantoni. Today, we're going to be talking about our art department and why we want people to come check us out. <coughs> so, let's start off with some questions. What are your guys' favorite parts about our art department? Go ahead, Peter. Um, for me, is the um, the different classes that you can take. Um, there's plenty of options for different kind of artists. Because in um, high school, you really didn't get an option. It's just mostly art and painting. But when I got here at Solano, I found that there's plenty of options for me and to find myself for whatever kind of art that works for me. Nice. What about you, Michael? Uh, for me, it's just the, uh, the sheer amount of equipment that are available to us artists in that department. Uh, whether it be uh, you know futuristic uh, equipment like laser cutters or photo emulsion to use uh, to make t-shirts uh, or, or an antiqui antiqui antiquated as they say antiquated uh, yeah. <laughs> printmaking uh, press right yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, you know whatever interest you have for me personally I get a lot of enjoyment of uh, fulfilling my expression <coughs> through as many different uh, uh, mediums as I can, yeah. or medias as I can. Mm -hmm. yeah. our, our department really has almost everything, I think, just, and it's not even, just, yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's a lot. Yeah, most people don't know that, so. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, what do you guys think about the environment that this department gives? And I feel like, oh, I'm blanking, okay. <laughs> um, what do you guys feel like the environment is at the department? Like the community, like the support that they give? What do you guys have to say about that? Um, the faculty staff is amazing here at the art department. They really try and help you out with art. You know, they don't judge um, who you are as an artist and like what you can do. They're just there to help you out and support you. and as far as also like classmates and like people that you work with they're just really helpful that you can just talk to and you know not worry about what they have to say or think they're just help they're just there for you to um, help bounce ideas around yeah yeah definitely uh, you know whenever we have a conceptual yeah. idea that we're wondering about uh, we have another fellow student that we can just uh, you know show our work to and and get like an instant crit instant critique uh, right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really cool. Um, I like you know personal growth as an artist, uh, perfecting my craft, or you know if I could ever perfect it, right? Uh, just getting closer to that uh, yeah. would be nice. Um, so I, I think just um, you know I came I came into this school just drawing and painting, and now I'm you know I've done a bunch of other things that I never thought I was going to do. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so it's able it's enabled me to become a more well-rounded artist. And I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For, um, as artists ourselves, when we create something and we put it out there, what do you want, like, the audience to really take from that? What is it, like, what are your processes and what do you, not necessarily the um, message, but just what do you want them to kind of understand about it? Yeah. Well, I Personally, I like to, uh, I want to change the world with my art, you know, I want to yeah. create a better place. <laughs> uh, uh, right now in our art show for Ultraviolet, it's showing right now, uh, we're having a closing reception, I think. Uh, what's the date for that one? May 17th. May 17th. Um, so for that one, I put in a painting called Quest for Serenity. <laughs> um, and it's uh, inspired, you know, by the humanitarian crisis that's going on in, in Africa right now. So. Um, you know, in, in Liberia, less than 10% of the women participate in politics. Uh, there's gender inequality there, so if I can sell a painting and the proceeds or part of the proceeds go towards, um, you know, relief for that area, and I think it's great, you know, using, mm -hmm. using your artwork and creativity to change the world for, to be a better place is a, is a great opportunity. <coughs> Uh, for me, it's just I want them to see as art as something as, a, as something for you to be able to express yourself. And when you look at art, and just have people be more comfortable about it, and just being able to be yourself 
and you know express yourself through it and yeah <laughs> it's not just like a, a painting of the primary colors too just yeah. to think oh that's something I could do so it's it's not really art but I mean mm. there's usually something behind it some kind of meaning something like how you're doing um, something for the like third world country just to kind of promote that so it's it can definitely it's it's like a picture has like a thousand words or yeah. something like that but yeah definitely yeah, yeah. so now that people kind of know what our department has what are some events that they can actually come and see like the art show we were talking about but that's not just this semester we have it every um, spring and fall too and then summer classes so mm -hmm. what other stuff do we got well, for this semester, we have an upcoming show, The Ultraviolet. So that's definitely something you guys should check out. Mm -hmm. There's going to be refreshments, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like free <coughs> food, free drinks, yeah. just music. Mm -hmm. So whatever your level of art sophistication, right, you can definitely go to the show and then have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not even just like shows for um, just the students overall, like kind of promoting, um, what is it? like smaller artists, right? Because you're gonna, you're trying to promote your own or propose your own kind of um, show. Yeah, with other uh, in October, we're, uh, we have a proposal for a three artist show. And, um, you know, for the student shows, it can get a little crowded, so you can share only one piece of your work, mm -hmm. which is yeah. great uh, to have, uh, you know, all the different types of artwork in the show, but it's also nice to have more exclusive shows where that, uh, you know, people can showcase, you know, more of their uh, range, um, you know, so in October we plan to do that. Uh, I'm predominantly a space-themed artist. Um, I am pretty frustrated with the, uh, with the uh, progress of our space exploration. I've been <laughs> that way since I was a kid, so a lot of my art incorporates that, um, uh, among other things. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that show and, and the other artists as well. Uh, Emily and Jr. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Cool. All right. So thanks for tuning in to the Solano Community College Art Show. I'm Julian Atkins Young, and we'll see you next time.